I'm going to take my fork over to my friend Ryan over at the trail yard in Valparaiso, Indiana for a full fork service. Ryan's an expert in suspension and I know it'll run perfectly when he's done. While that's off for service, it's time to tear down the bike and give it a deep clean and inspection. First we'll tear down the drivetrain and check for any issues, clean and re-grease. If you're wondering what that buzzing noise is, well, it's this, an ultrasonic cleaner. These devices are used to clean everyday items like jewelry, eyeglasses, bullet casings. The ultrasonic frequency helps get dirt out of small places and is a great way to deep clean. I've never used this on bike parts, so let's see if it works. How well that works. Degreaser in here, so we're going to use some of this muck off. So, what I'm going to do is spray a little bit in here, a little bit of water. It took a couple of cycles to get the chain clean, and now it looks brand new. Now, for the record, I did not put any sealed bearings or the derailleur in the cleaner. Since those are sealed up, there's no point in adding moisture to them. But the jockey wheels, chain ring, cassette, and cranks all got a nice clean. All right, let's go rinse these off. Next, we'll take a look at the wheels. When I was riding it last, I noticed a wobble in the front wheel. So we're going to check it for true and make any adjustments. These are Crank Brothers iodine wheels, and they are a little bit unique. They're 24 spoke wheels, but are extremely strong. How do I know that? This wheel is perfectly true. Incredible. Yes. <laughs> well, there you go. If the wheel is true, that means my front tire wasn't properly seated or it's gotten warped. It would be a shame to toss a perfectly good tire, so we'll try to seat it first. Tire looks a little bit warped. So I think we're gonna put a different tire on. I always run way more aggressive tires than I need to for my local trails. So this time we'll try something faster rolling, light and supple. These are Terravale A-lines. They have really small knobs in the middle and tall side cornering knobs to dig in into corners. They're fast rolling, they're pretty lightweight, and these are so much easier to install. Oh, and you might have noticed I'm seating these tires tubeless with a floor pump. I'm using the Entity High Volume Air Pump. It's inexpensive and works really well. Usually I use a compressor, but I haven't had to use a compressor since I bought this. If you didn't believe me about the tire, now it's dead straight. So, 
the Der Baron was warped, so somewhere along the lines I must have hit impacted it somewhere, caused it to bulge a bit. But look at those A-lines, they are smooth and oddly enough they actually look skinnier at 2.5 than the Der Baron at 2.4, which just goes to show Conti's tend to size big. When I seat tires, I'll typically do it without sealant first to make sure they're properly set. This way I can avoid a big mess if I have to remove the tires. And I always use valves with removable cores. Now with the fork back from the shop, let's talk about it. This is a Fox 34 Performance Elite. It has a Fit4 damper, which has low speed compression, and a three position switch with open, pedal, and lockout settings, as well as the typical rebound. A good fork on a hardtail can really wake it up, and the Fox 34 has been great in that regard. The handlebars are 20mm rise rental fat bars. They are attached to a 45mm nuke proof stem. This helps me get in a better pedaling position with the seat up. The tall stack height of the frame also helps when going down steeps. So I get the best of both worlds. Let's get the drivetrain back together. Everything has been checked and re-lubed, and it should last for many more years. I'm still running the Magura MT5 fork piston brakes. These are an ultra-powerful, no-frills version of the top-of-the-line MT7. After three years of riding, they're due for a system flush and new pads. I've been so happy with them that I've started using them on my other bikes. Oh, and since then, Maguro USA has become a sponsor. Oh, yeah, and one more thing I should mention. I fully serviced the one-up dropper post, but my footage got lost when my GoPro glitched. But rest assured, it was deep cleaned and lubed, and it runs great now. I only had two issues with this bike that needed fixing. The first was the warped front tire, the second item was a seized bearing in the headset. Everything else just needed to be cleaned and lubed.
26.8 pounds, fast and aggressive. This is an awesome hardtail. My plan is to sell the bike, but not before I test it against its replacement. If you want to see what that is, make sure you subscribe to the channel. And if you like the video, please hit the thumbs up as well. Also, I'll have a Marley playlist set up that you can watch the whole progression of this bike from day one. It's going to be hard letting go of this bike, and I hope it finds a good home where it will bring someone years of good shredding. That would make letting go of this bike a lot easier. I hope you enjoyed this leg of my journey. Thanks for watching.